Hi everyone, welcome to Boring Latin Isolation. In today's session, we're going to be covering three aspects. Dance warm up, dance technique, and fitness. Let's get straight into it. Okay, we're going to be moving through some exercises to get warm. First, let's roll our shoulders, place them down, pull the core in, lift the head high, working on pulling the core in, keeping the shoulders down, and the head upright. We're going to move into our ballroom warm exercises. Let's start with rise and fall. So we have our feet together. Let's take the arms out to the side, bend the knees. We go up for three, one, two, three, and down. And one, two, three, and down. One, two, three, and down. One, two, three, and down. One, two, three, and down, and one, two, three, down, and one, two, three, and down. Okay, let's move into our weight transfers, keeping the arms up. We're going forwards on the right foot, and we have stretch and back, and stretch and back, working the weight forwards and back, and forwards and back. Trying to improve the stride, and back, and one, and change. And let's go the opposite leg, and stride, and back, and stride, and back, and stride, and back, and stride, and back. Okay, let's go into a CBM movement, arms up to the side, and we're going to rotate. Turn the body and come back. And turn the body and come back. Turning from the shoulders, keeping the hips square. And rotate. And turn. And turn. And turn. And a few more. And turn. And two more. Okay, so let's move into our Latin exercises. We're going to use the arms up in front of us in a box position to practice every movement. So we start with a settling action. And we have settle on the left side with one flex leg and one straight leg. And let's change to the opposite side. And we go again and change and change. Now to a count and two, three, four. And two, three, four. Two, three, four. And two, three, four. Two, three, four. And two, and three, four. Last one, two, three, four. Okay, let's keep this position. Let's go split weight. And we're going to work on a figure of eight. So we're starting to the right, hip forward to start with, forwards and around. And the opposite side, and back, and to a count. And we have two, three, four, and two, three, four, two, three, four, and two, three, four, two, three, four, and two, and three, and four, and two, three, four. Okay, we're going to move into a basic action. And we're looking at the weight transfers. So we have arms up, and four, and step. Push, and replace, and side. And walk, three, four, to the count. And two, three, four, and two, three, four two, three, four, and two, three, four. Pushing the weight over the foot, get onto the foot, three and four, and push on the foot, three, four, and push, three, four, and two, three, and stop. Okay, last exercise. Feet shoulder apart, we're going to stand the bounce. So we start with the weight up on, up on the toes. We're going to lower and count one. Down we go. One, rise, and two, 
and three and four. Okay, arms up, five, six, seven, lift and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. One more and one, two, three, four and five, six, seven, eight. Let's move on to the technique part of our class. I'd like to talk about how we're going to keep connection to the floor with the feet in ballroom. So I'm going to dance a natural turn, um, six steps of the natural turn, which is both the lead and follow steps, and talk about how we're going to use the feet. So first of all, the full natural turn, all six steps, goes like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. Throughout the natural turn, the feet should always stay in contact with the floor. So let's break down how we're going to take a forward walk and a back walk. So first of all, I'm going to walk forwards on my right foot, starting with the ball of the foot. As I go forwards, the ball of the foot is going to have contact with the floor. Then I'm going to place the foot down and the heel will also have contact. So as I'm sliding the foot forwards, I go from the ball to a flat. The next part of the movement, I'm going to bring the heel off the floor. As I bring the heel off the floor, I'm now preparing to stride. So I start off with ball of the foot, whole foot, heel. And now I'm going to push onto the foot with the stride. As I push onto the foot, my back foot, which is my left foot, I'm going to release the heel and point. Now I'm going to begin to draw the foot, the left foot in. Ball of the foot first until the feet come together, where now I bring the foot flat. Then the same going forwards again. Ball of the foot forwards to a flat and repeat. Going backwards, we have a similar action. We first of all start, we're going to use our weight on our left foot going back on the right. First of all, I start by pushing my right foot behind me. I like to use the expression pushing through sand. So I have push the foot back until I get to a point. Now I'm going to begin to transfer the weight. As I transfer the weight, the heel's going to lower, the toe of my front foot will release, and then I'm going to move the foot in, drawing it across the floor, not dragging like a fox shot, drawing the heel, then a flat foot until the feet come together, and then I'll commence the action again. Now when we're thinking about taking side steps, we also have a similar action where I start off with both feet together. I'm going to have my weight on my right foot and step to my left, which will be your right. As I go to the side, I'm going to start off with the ball of the foot and go to the inside edge of the, of the toe. So I'm starting on the center and then pushing to the inside edge. Again, using the idea of pushing through sand. From here, I'm going to push across to the foot, place the heel down, release the heel on my right foot and point. Now I'm going to begin to draw the foot in and bring the feet together. Again, maintaining connection to the floor. Okay, so let's go through the natural turn. So first of all, I'm going forwards on my right foot. So I've got the ball of the foot in contact, then flat, then the heel takes place and I release the back foot. I now bring the foot under on the ball, push to the side, transfer the weight and draw the feet together. Push the left foot back, Trans start to transfer the weight, lower the heel, lift the toe, draw the foot under the body, and push to the side with the toe, transfer the weight and draw the feet together. Let's move on to some Latin technique. I want to talk about the actions we use when taking walks in the rumba. So I'm going to start with my weight on my right foot. As my weight is on my right foot, the first thing I'm going to do is set on my weight. We use this setting action to commence our movement. 
So I take my right hip and I settle. Now that indicates I'm going to move. So first of all, let's start off by using a settling action. So we have settle and step. And let's repeat, settle, take the step. And repeat, settle and step, settle and step, settle, step, and one more, settle and step. Now that's quite easy when you're building when you're building the action. However, what we want to do is add another layer of, of technique to it. So when we think about settle, we want to quickly follow with the release of the of the knee of the foot we're about to use. So for example, I'm going to stand on my right leg and go through the same steps. I'm going to settle into the right side. I'm going to then release my left knee, settle, release, and now I'm going to take the step. And I'm going to repeat that on my left leg now. Settle the hip, my right knee, release the knee, and take the step. And again, settle the hip, release the knee, and to the side. Settle, release, walk. Settle, release, walk. So the settle is the hip, release is the knee, and then the direction is the step. One more time, all the way through. So I have settle, release, walk. Settle, release the knee, and walk. Settle, release the knee and walk. Settle, release the knee, walk. Settle, release the knee and walk. Settle, release the knee and walk. So let's put this into um, three, three words that you can use every time you want to take a step. So what we're going to say is hip, knee, foot. So I'm going to go to the, to the action one more time and we're going to say hip, knee, foot every single time we want to walk. So I started my weight on my right foot again, and we have hip, knee, foot. 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 And hip, knee, foot. To finish the class, let's go through some stretches. So first of all, we're going to stretch the neck out. So let's take the head over to the right and pull. And let's go to the opposite side and pull. Now when I'm pulling, I'm just using a gentle pull on, on the neck just to help assist the stretch. I'm not pulling hard. Okay, let's go into some rotation. So turn the head to the right and use the hands to draw the head across. And let's go to the opposite side. Okay, okay let's roll the shoulders. I want to loosen up the shoulders. The head stretches or the neck stretches and the shoulder rolls are really important for the mobility of the head, being able to turn. Okay, let's go to some leg stretches. So we're going to go quadricep, quadricep stretch first. And switch. And let's move in into some hamstring stretches. So we're going to take hands to the floor and we're trying to get the hands flat on the floor. If you can't reach down that far, start off by trying to get your to touch your toes. And as you get better, touch the floor with your fingertips. And as you improve more, hands flat on the floor. OK, 
okay, the calf muscles. So we're going to put the toe in the air and we're going to reach down and touch the toe. If you can touch the toe, try to pull the foot up towards you gently. And let's repeat on the other side. your arm in front of you, bring your other hand across, roll the arm across until you feel the stretch inside of here. You may not need to go very far or you may draw all the way across. I'm just going to hold this now. Okay, and the other side. Stretch the arm in front of you, take the arm and draw it across, feeling the stretch in your back. And relax. I hope you enjoyed our first form and Latin isolation class. Keep a lookout for more videos coming over the coming week. Thanks everyone.